Hello everyone, my name is Michael SK and welcome back to 9 episode 4. This could be a very big recording session here gamers because we are going to confront Yoichi before he goes and commits his first murder. Which means we might be able to stop him from going too far and while well, becoming the villain that he is trying to set out to be as we have seen in the previous episodes that's going to be big so in the previous recording sessions we've been working towards constructing the valhalla society mostly with yuki much earlier than anticipated and that's going to give us such a head start on getting prepared for the big fight against iris honestly i like the direction that this is going it's taking everything we've been through in order to you know make one final shot at it obviously this probably isn't the final shot we have as many attempts as we need but the idea that we have one final shot with everything that we've taken with us is a pretty good mentality to go in with anyways Sora's here being Sora ah yeah I, I gotta agree I totally forgot she was supposed to be here <laughs> He does? <sighs> she is, uh, I, I don't think it really de like depends, or it doesn't matter what episode we're on. Sora is going to be very needy and annoying in the very beginning. I breathe a sigh, remove my shoes at the door, and take off my school blazer. Sora probably isn't a user chest yet. I shouldn't take her to the park. I need to hurry up and eat, see Sora off, and make sure I'm not late for the stakeout. Go where? Oh yeah, that's right. The fire user is going to be in her class. Yeah, we are getting a little bit of a jab in there. I would venture that means he's not showing any signs of going berserk yet, in which case I might be able to stop that fire before it happens. But... Yeah, sure. If that gets you to shut up about it, yeah, why not? Oh, I think we're all aware by now. Damn. Whoever says get bent nowadays. Ah, so da. Nanda madanok. Saifu o kakunin shiro. Eh? Nande? Saifu o kakunin shiro. Gakara, nande? Wakat ten dayo, my no kontanga. Ogon nekarna. At least he's looking ahead here. This, this is a good way of using the power we have here. You know, our, our future memories and such. We are more prepared than ever for whatever anybody can throw at us. え、早くないじゃあ、一人で行ってくるわ。なんだよ、ま、そういうこと言うなよ。行くよ、行きますよ。忘れ物するなよ。はいはいはい。今度から来る時はちゃんと連絡しろ。来んなとは言わないから。え
Yuichi probably won't be there until much later into the night, but it would be no laughing matter if we show up there later only to find the deed already done. Sure, I can rewind with Overlord, but I still need to find out an exact time. Two hours, three hours, maybe even more. We might be in for the long haul. I should, uh, I should hit up the convenience store. Hello, Sophie. <laughs> what news does Sophie bring us on this fine night? In the middle of the open, Sophie appears from a rift in space. No one else can see Sophie. Oh yeah, that's right. So I don't really have to be careful, but... We're still talking to, you know, something in public. I go to the side of the street, pull out my phone, and place it against my ear. Going back on Kakadu's point, I remember back in the day, like, those Bluetooth, like, earpieces were definitely something people were using back then. Like, mid-2000s, that was, like, the way to go if you were, like always talking with somebody on the phone, but you need both of your hands and you're always moving around. I think um, that was a good stepping stone for us having wireless earbuds today, because now people will be on phone calls and you have to make sure that they have AirPods in or some shit, because if not, it's a little weird. Huh? <laughs> What the fuck was he doing then? Like, he had to have been using his powers to some degree, even if it's a minimal degree. Sure, he may have like a weak spirit or some some sort, maybe, I don't know, but still, already? Wait, what? Plus, it does create more branches. At least Sophie is already getting on top of that, so we can have something eventually. Instead of having to wait on it. By killing him? We stop him by killing him. Will that work? I was always under the impression where, unless you remove the artifact from yourself, like some proper way, you can't get rid of it and it will just kill you or something? I don't know why. I always thought that. Which was what we tried to do over in episode 3. それなら苦情の能力を解除しても。分かった。苦情に相談してみる。覚悟は決めておくことね。オーバーロードの使用者である前に、あなたは一人の人間。I mean, it seems to make sense. I'm cool to try it, but yeah, obviously we are banking on it working, and if it doesn't, then we have to fall back on Overlord, which again, we shouldn't be taking too lightly. できることに限界はあるわ。君に命じておく。ありがとう。それじゃ、まだ話は終わりじゃないわよ。これから会うんでしょ。イエス。だな。あと数時間もすれば。それじゃ、持って行きなさい。Oh, I open the lid and gulp down the liquid, or I gulp the liquid down in a single swig. You don't have to include that last part. Just say that you're impressed. Make us feel better about ourselves. 
ありがとう有効活用させてもらうもう一つの方はあまり期待しないで人を害しかねないアーティファクトは管理が厳しいのよ Honestly, this should do enough. わかったこれだけでもだいぶ助かる本当ありがとなどういたしましたそれじゃしっかりね And hop to it, we will. Oh, I am anxious to see how all this is bound to go down. Sophie returns to her world, and I put away my phone. <laughs> Better hurry. Don't want to be late. Though, this game does a really good job, or this series has done a really good job at getting you ready for something, and then something else unexpectedly pops up. Really, a、uh, change of events, if you will. <laughs> どうせこれから待つことになるからそれもそうかこれよかったら何物とあとパンとか菓子とか私も買ってきた張り込みの定番だな私ごめんなさい重すぎたかもお弁当作ってきちゃって Hopefully we don't eat too much that we're like gonna be more ill prepared お腹いっぱいだったら持って帰るのでああいやめっちゃ腹減ってるありがとう Wait what did we do with Sora? I thought we went to McDonald's. Well, what did we even do? Did we do the old put it in the mouth, pretend to chew and swallow, but it's still in your mouth trick, and then, you know, pull that shit out? So we just didn't eat? Like, what did we do there? Or did we just not eat like a full on meal? I really wonder how this is all gonna go down. We move to a more concealed corner of the park. The trees block the light from the lamppost, making it quite dark. We should be able to hide ourselves pretty well over here. She reaches into her bag and tugs out a picnic、uh, blanket, almost a basket. <laughs> I swear, we do the coziest shit in the wackiest of times. I still don't understand that pizza party that we did before the big fight against Iris. I really don't. Once we spread the blanket out on the ground, we place our shoes, lunch boxes, plastic bags, and all of our stuff on top of it. We then collectively plop ourselves down. Yeah, this is,、uh, this is just slightly weird. Because you can tell that we're hiding away, but you know what? I'll take it. As per usual. And that's why she's such a great character. She thinks of everything. どうぞ召し上がれあ、紙皿と割り箸も持ってきたよあざーすいただきます After wiping down my hands, I fold them in a little prayer and grab a cylinder shaped rice ball I know I told her I haven't eaten dinner, but I wonder how much I can actually pack down Okay, so we were lying I stuff my face with a tinge of regret over trying to,、uh, to front on a half full stomach Wow, it's so good There's just the right amount of seasoning in the rice, making the flavor hit all the right marks for me. I could wolf these bad boys down easy. <laughs> She grabs a cherry tomato with her chopsticks and places it on her plate. I don't know why she's trying to force herself. Even her reasoning here makes no sense. After giving it a long, hard stare down, she brings it to her mouth and then puts it back down on her plate. Yeah, especially right before a potential fight. Like, why are you trying to do something like this? Well, she did it. Yeah, she sure did it, alright. Again, I really don't even think her argument made a whole lot of sense. And here we are. 
でせ,せっかく持ってきてくれたもの気にしなくてもよかったのにそういうわけにはい,いかない What high standards she holds for herself? She pulls out a bottle of tea from the plastic bags, quickly opens the lid, and puts it to her mouth. <sighs> What a rough time. Yeah, we kind of like outed our, our lingo there. I think this is the first time that we're bringing up other branches specifically with people like other than Sophie. This has literally never happened. Oh, that's exactly what she wants to hear. わたしにその記憶はないけれど、そう振る舞えていたのなら。勇気はどんな状況でも正しい行いを貫いてた。いいままも生物は体内にあるの。Probably。ああ、そのはず。そう。なら見せたくても見せられないわね。そうなるな。
記憶に視力九条さんの力かなり強力なようね It is. It honestly is. みたいだね All of these abilities are fucking strong once you get to the、uh, very specific details of them. Oh my gosh, she is so cooperative so early on. I love it. Alas, this is the most unusual picnic. And don't push yourself. Who knows? He could have just been standing behind us the entire time listening in. No, don't do that. Please don't do that. You're fine. You're fine. And right back to it we go. Literally. She grabs a cherry tomato with her chopsticks. And gives it a long, hard stare. And then takes a bite. She chews slowly. It's okay not to like specific things, honestly. And wretches in disgust. Oh, what a, what a character. All these characters, honestly. It's now past 9 p.m. Did you say 9? We finished up our meals and our idle banter is coming to a close when it happens. A single female student comes to the park. She sits on the bench playing on her phone. We sit in the darkness with bated breath. Completely unlike our impromptu picnic, the air is tense. I would give it 10 minutes at least. I say that, but we don't even wait that long before Yuichi comes waltzing in. <laughs> Yuichi walks into the park looking no different than usual. He approaches the female student. The girl notices Yuichi drawing near and lifts her head. He waves his hand and she smiles back. <laughs> While the other two observe carefully, I break out into an uncomfortable sweat. So he didn't just pick a target at random? He killed someone he knew? Someone he told to meet him? I had been praying somewhere in my heart, praying that Yoichi wasn't using this ability of his own volition, that his ability ran rampant and he couldn't stop it, and it was some sort of accident in the end. After all, Yoichi wouldn't choose to murder someone. At least, that was what I had hoped. But we don't know Yoichi. Honestly, we, we don't seem to really know what's going on deep down. And from what I think he told us in episode 3, he's always been this way. This isn't something that came about because of his abilities. It's just, it gave him an out. It gave him a way to, I guess, utilize what was deep down inside of him. His feelings now turned into a power that he can use to kill. It's how he's always been. However, the truth is out. It's planned. Yuichi plans on killing an innocent girl to test the evil eye's powers. <laughs> No, that's fair, honestly, but I do think there should be a bit of a one on one here. I slowly stand up. I silently close the distance one step at a time. 
The two are exchanging some lighthearted banter. Yoichi remains standing and the girl looks up from the bench with her phone in one hand. I can't see Yoichi's face, but the girl seems to be happy. It's almost like a couple chatting with each other. Yoichi slowly crouches down. He reaches eye level with the girl and stares right into her face. I didn't want to believe it. Yoichi. Hmm? Yoichi turns around. He glares at me for interrupting him. His stigma is shining all the while. Kokeru? Realizing that it's me, his stigma disappears. His anger fades and he stares at me blankly. There's a short silence. It seems Yoichi is wise to me now. He's guessed that I know everything. As well as what I'm trying to do right now. Sorry, buddy, but nope. God damn. The female student scowls and runs off, clearly pissed. Yeah, she's just straight up fucking running away. God damn. Yoichi doesn't even see her off as he shrugs and sighs, annoyed. Well, you didn't do anything yet. Or anything wrong yet. Yeah, it really does suck. He gives me a big shameless grin. You'd never guess from looking at him that he tried to commit murder just a moment ago. I recall Takamine's words from another branch. Yoichi never fit into society's little box. And now I'm seeing that right before my eyes. Well, it's not like an official name, but it's what we call it. He cuts himself off and sighs yet again. Yep. His gaze focuses behind me. I look to find Yuki and Kujo right next to me. They probably came over out of concern. Today? そんな話どうでもいいだろ。よくないでしょう。ずっと女気なかったかけるが両手に花なんて興味津々だよ。私も九条さんも生物の契約者。ただ彼に同行しただけ。あなたを止めるため。あるいは裁くために。裁くってま
めっちゃ睨んでくる。Now, look, it's, it's awkward, sure, but like, she's our backup, and we kind of need her. 一つだけいいか。何ぬいぐるみみたいなやつと接触したか。ぬいぐるみ何言ってんのしてないならいい。わかるように言ってよ。何の話お前のアーティファクト。力を欲しがってるやつがいる。じきにお前の前に現れるかもしれない。Or it might show up right now. It's been monitoring us, I'm pretty sure. Yuichi waves with a cheerful smile. He flashes that smile at Yuki and Kujo, too. That's it? And then he turns around and leaves. Honestly, I think by what we did here, we prevented him from going too far, as Kakadu had said, and we allowed him to continue to live his life the way he always has been. Is it best for that to be going down? Probably not, but it's definitely worse if he kills somebody because then he has to live with that going forward. He will have to play the role of the, of the villain. We don't want that. I'm pretty sure he doesn't want that either. He was stopped. People know about his ability here, so there's just no point in doing it. He won't be the villain. I mean, I would rather see him as an ally than an enemy. Mm, yeah. Admittedly, guys, like, I was thinking, shit, we should probably be tailing him right now because, well, fuck, he could go off and kill another person right now. He has the capability, and he's done it in a previous branch. I mean, I think it's safe to let him roam free for now. Again, I'm kind of contradicting myself, but we could, you know, rely on Overlord in this case, which is not fair and we really shouldn't, but. We could take his words, you know, at face value. If he says he's not going to do anything, okay, let's trust him. And if he actually does something, then whenever we jump back, well, we, we don't buy that shit and we fight. It's a rough spot to be in. I feel like we brought that up in episode one. That sounds very familiar. I know that was an episode three thing. Kosuka was like very apologetic for like no reason a lot of the time. Hey, good, good picnic, I guess. At least we got to have that going on. We're still getting our slice of life moments. Damn, that was really it. Okay. After I watch the two walk off part of the way, I get on the road back home myself. There won't be any more petrification cases. Hopefully. Destiny has completely branched off. Hopefully. Sophie. Yeah, what does Sophie have to say about all this? How'd we do? Sophie appears as soon as I call her. Thank you. 
もし何かやらかしそうなら伝えるわよ当然私では止められないから頼むそれだけあ,あ Oh, that was easy. As soon as I nod, Sophie vanishes. I don't like being suspicious and keeping tabs. But I just can't bring myself to think about this positively. Yoichi was really murdering people in the other branches. I can only pray that Yoichi won't turn to a life of crime. I sincerely hope that things have branched off in a positive direction. I mean, I hope so too. I, I don't want to see Yoichi, the, the fun best friend character that he is, be an enemy. That sucks. And it seems like he actually has some issues going on that we may be able to address. All right, let's, let's fucking see what he has to say here. I silently stare at Yoichi's grinning face as he delivers an energetic greeting. This guy can put up a really good front. そうだろうなまだ警戒してるんだろうけど I pull out a nearby chair and sit down 昨日はさリスクがなさそうだから試そうと思ったんだだからリスクを背負ってまで好奇心を満たしたいとは思わない約束通り悪さはしないよ I really wanna take his promise to heart そこは信じてほしいな、really、好奇心ねだって使ってみたいでしょこんなゲームとかアニメみたいな力手に入れたら Yeah, I mean, I get his point. But not for that. That's a massive fucking difference in values, my brother in Christ. Kakeruto No, I, I, I think he still wants to be friends with him. I want to be friends with him still. Like, yeah, obviously he's not. Or let me rephrase. He's got some problems. 100%. Can they be solved? I don't know. I think that's a great part of his character arc, though. We're given an opportunity this time around to actually help him. Where in other branches, we couldn't because it, he already did the deed. He's already killed. That's a little bit more difficult there. Okay, that's fair. That is fair. Potentially, yes. Well, I, I guess our first task has been accomplished in trying to change things for the better here and prevent deaths. We have gotten Yoichi to, you know, stay out of the line of trouble, and there won't be petrification incidents, supposedly. Yoichi stands up as soon as the bell rings and starts to head to his desk. I feel someone's gaze and I turn to the source. There I find Kujo looking at me. Her expression looks awkward beyond words. She probably still hasn't accepted that Yoichi tried to kill someone. Unable to come up with a response, I smile vaguely, shrug my shoulders, and avert my eyes from her. This is also another person we have to be wary of, because I'm sure Iris is deep down somewhere in there even now. Morning homeroom, class, lunchtime, class again. I can't look ahead in the script anymore, so the fact that things are proceeding as normal is oddly relieving. No, I mean, that's good to an extent. But now we have task number two. And that is to prevent the death of this fire student. If I can find the button to save the game, and we will call it for this video. This was a fun one. This was chill. And very productive, I think. So far, really enjoying this episode because, well, it's a completely different direction, as I said before. And, you know, most episodes have really done that. Three definitely took a wacky turn. Four here, with all of its interesting mechanics here tying into Overlord, it's all very interesting. No idea what to expect, 
but we're along for a good ride. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that fancy jazz, and I will see you all in the next one. Take it easy.